and gentlemen, today we are going to be doing some, well, some good old fashioned hamburgers. We would be doing it on the grill outside of the griddle, but the weather told us something different. So today we're going to be doing it inside the kitchen. Like always on this channel, we're going to start off by pouring in some nice and refreshing cold beer. So we're going to start off today, I like my Bud Light with a little bit of lemon. So I got some fresh lime, I'm pouring me a nice cold beer right now. And I've got me some freshly picked limes. I say they're freshly picked, but they're from Walmart. Squeeze one of them bad boys in there. Stir it up a little bit, and we'll start shooting. Gentlemen, so what I've done so far is I'm heating up my cast iron pan right here. I'm gonna cut that on low with a little bit of smoke coming off of it. The oil. I got that going on. I'm gonna cut this fan on, suck up some of that. If not, fire alarm's gonna go off. But I've got my onions, I've got my tomatoes, they all peeled up. I'm going to use my slicer. I've got it on thick cut, so we're going to get that going real quick. Now, remember when you're using this right here, always use the guard, because if you don't, you can cut your finger off. And all you do is you put it on there and you just, real quick, simple, easy. And you're going to take it, and there you go. You got nice onions ready to go. And then we'll saute those bad boys right there up. I'm going to do maybe one and a half of these. I like a lot of onions. A lot of people don't. So we always have a bunch left over. So I get my onion together. Get these out of the way. I'm just going to set these out of the way right here. I'm going to get my tomatoes ready. Now always what I do is this thing right here is really easy to clean it off. I just rinse it off. And you're ready to go. I mean it's just that simple. You put your tomatoes in there. And you go through the same thing. That one's good. This one don't want to stick. Like I said, you get, I mean, you get the point. Some of these tomatoes are a little soft here, so that is fine. Now, you could do it the old fashioned way. Some people prefer that. Just look great. Some people prefer that, so what I'll do is I'll just cut some the old fashioned way. Good sharp knife is the key. Try to keep your cuss consistent. And then there you go. Finally slice tomatoes, put those over there. Now all three of those are good to go. Just gonna throw this over here in the sink, wash that up a little bit later. We got our shredded lettuce that's ready to go. We got our beer, that's going down right now. Ah. Then we got these pre-made patties. Now yeah, I didn't really feel like getting a log of hamburger meat or getting the fresh ground. This right here is 80-20, it's good hamburger. We're going to throw these in on the griddle. I can get three of them in there at a time. And then I'm going to go back here to my seasonings now. Like I said, roasted, garlic, and herb. And I'm going to switch something up today. I'm also going to use some garlic jalapeno. And we'll be right back. Let me open these up. Season's open. 
uh, like I said, Weber makes some of the best. This is the roasted garlic seasoning, and this is the Weber garlic jalapeno. Now, I like a little bit of spice in my burgers. So, like I said, I've got three patties right now on the, uh, on the cast iron pan. I'm going to go ahead and season one side up with one. Now, the way I like to do is I'll season one with one. One on one side, and then I'll flip and I'll season the other. Or I'll use the other seasoning on the other side. So we're going to let these burgers right here cook down a little bit. And I mean in a cast iron pan, they don't take that long. So it's not going to take long at all to flip. But we will be right back with you when it's ready to flip. It's time to flip these patties. Like I say, you get up on them, make sure they're flipped. And then I'll put a little bit of pressure on them, knock some of that grease out, and let the blood come to the top. Now I only flip them twice. I flip them once on the first side, I let them seal it. Second side, I put some more seasoning on there. And then I let that rest for a little while. Now, like before, just with the griddle, when you work with cast iron, you want to make sure you keep it greased. I use some butter in this one. That way it'll help seal in some flavors. That way nothing sticks to the pan. So we got all the smoke going on in the house. We might get a fire alarm going off. So. If you hear beep, 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 and the dog's going off, I'm sorry. But we will be back with you in a second. Thank you. some shrimp we had left over yesterday and we're going to do some mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms of course for the uh, hamburgers and shrimp or for anybody who wants to eat the shrimp. Um, they can put it on a hamburger if they want to. My kids eat just about anything. But these three patties I put on earlier they had nice and melted. They were ready to come off. That cheese is nice and gooey. So, we're going to start by taking these three off. I got two more on and I'm going to replace those. Now anytime you're working in the kitchen and you're cooking burgers, just know you're going to have a lot of grease popping. So just be careful. Don't start any fires. And don't get burnt. Too bad. Just about that. So like I said, we always start with the first season. Season one side. Then when you flip it, you season the other side. Very easy instructions. I mean, don't get no easier than that. If you just want salt and pepper on, put salt and pepper on. And if you're wondering, during a little break right there, I made me another drink because, uh, well, I'm thirsty. And that's what I do. So I enjoy it. We'll be back with you. Gentlemen, we got the burgers done. Burgers are looking great there over there. I got seven stacks. There's seven people in my house right now. And I'm going to introduce you to them at the end of this video. Okay? Well, we're going to go ahead and saute some of these. I'll put some more butter in the pan here. And here's some mushrooms, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plop them in there because they're going to take a minute, but actually, you know, mushrooms don't take that long. 
But we are going to season them. Then we're going to put them in this bowl. I'm going to enjoy me another drink. Just amazing, you know, how much you drink when your 13-year-old daughter says, Hey, Daddy, I got a boyfriend. Can't wait to meet you, kid. Anyway, we're going to start taking these mushrooms up. Let them get nice and soft. These right here are actually going on the burgers. And when I'm done with the mushrooms, I may, I know my son and my oldest daughter, they like sauteed onions on there. So I may saute some of the onions up and get them nice and soft for them. But ladies and gentlemen, what do you think I put on my mushrooms? Now you think I just leave the mushrooms plain and dry, you know, soaking up the oil in the pan. Really no, no seasoning, just a little bit of butter. You think that's the way, that's, that's the way I'm going to leave the mushrooms? No, we got to we gotta marry the mushrooms or something. So what do we marry them with? A little bit more butter. Right? And then, that's right, garlic powder. We just gonna sprinkle some garlic powder on them. Mushrooms fall down. AJ, bring that camera over here and let them see what this what right here is doing. So, I mean, it's making them just a, a nice golden mess of mushrooms. Now, I will tell you right now, this right here is a pioneer's woman. Yes, a pioneer's woman. cast iron pan and they did say it came pre-seasoned don't believe that because it's, it's not true I'm telling you now season the pan and season it again then season it again because everything sticks to this thing everything once these are done we'll come back and uh Throw some onions on there. Alright. Like I said, we have some family moments. This right here is my grandson. He turned seven months old today and he just loves cooking with his buddy. Uh, that's what he calls, well, he's going to call me. He don't call me nothing now, but uh, wah and ah every once in a while. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. This is my little boy Zion. And he usually helps me out on the grill and in the kitchen. He's looking at his team bar right now, Mrs. Swamp Cracker, so we're going to go ahead and pass them over. And we're going to get these mushrooms out of the way. There you go. All right. AJ, you want to bring that over here and look at these mushrooms all nice and golden and delicious fried. I mean, they just can't get no better than that. Just can't get no better than that. Look at those nice and tender mushrooms. I would try them on right now, but ladies and gentlemen, they are hot. They right off fire pan a little bit. If you like your taste buds, don't do it. I'm gonna get these out of the way. And we're gonna swap over some uh, onions real quick. It's gonna take me a few seconds. And hold on with me. It's the only way. 
So I'm going to get some of these strands right here. And I'm going to do something just for them. And we'll leave mine right there. I'm waiting for the day they ask me to try to saute a tomato. And it, it just ain't going to happen. But what I do is usually go in there. I pick them up once they start getting nice and tender. They'll come right off the strand. You see one just looping around my spoon just like that right there. It's because it already hit that grease. And it was ready to go. And I don't saute them to where they're translucent. I saute them where they're a little crispy. That way you get a little bite to it. But you get the flavor going. You know, the onion flavor is not really strong. And then we're just going to do that right there. And we're going to get a bowl. And we're going to put them in a bowl. And we'll be right back with you once we get that done, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to pull off. Uh, we're in the middle of pulling off the onions right now. And we want them to look almost like that right there. You know what I mean? It's a little gooey, a little hooey, a little crunchy. Good to go. Can't can't really feed it. Not burnt. Not. Didn't lose a whole lot of flavor. But now, we got our onions did up. We got our mushrooms did up, we got our patties did up, we got our tomatoes did up, we got our other onions did up, and we got our lettuce did up. So that means the only thing we got to finish with the burgers is what? The bugs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you right now. I like an onion bun. I like onion. Toasted onion. It can't go wrong with it. Huh? Toast them. Always toast your buns. It makes it a lot better. Toast your buns. And then I'm about to make one of these burgers right here. I'm going to give it to my oldest daughter. AJ, if you'd be so kind to get me a plate, please, sir. Give me one of them disposable ones, because I know y'all ain't doing dishes tonight. How'd you know? So I'm going to give this burger right here to my oldest daughter. Give me the, uh, Hannah, you want ketchup, mustard, and good stuff on yours, or what do you want on yours? Ketchup, good stuff, the mustard. All right, give me the ketchup. Like I said, you just want to toast them. You don't want to overcook them. They don't take long to burn bread, so. Y'all can't see it right now, but it's hilarious. My son's back there holding the ketchup up. Like, you gonna get this, Daddy? Oh, they definitely can see it. So we gonna get, uh, we gonna get, Hannah, you want a double or a single? Single. We gonna get one of these single patties over here, and we gonna make her a, a burger. You want tomatoes? Sure. You want sautéed onions, or? Yes, I do. All right, you want sautéed onions. You want mushrooms on them? Yes, sir. Alright. You want lettuce? Yes, sir. Alright, let's get some lettuce on this burger right here and slap some cats up on there. It might help if it was open. <laughs> he handed me the ketchup, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't open. He was like, the joke's on you, daddy. Alright, hold on. Try this one more again. You'll get it. I'll get burnt bread. Put some cats up on there. Throw some lettuce on there. Hannah, come here. Come here, Hannah. There's, there's your sandwich right there. Come get it. This is my oldest daughter right here. Her name's Hannah. She's a little camera shy. But she's going she gonna to give you a taste test right now. Go ahead and pick up the burger and put, put it in your mouth. 
Tell me what you think about it. It's a juicy burger now. Oh, mama, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> She's also a comedian, ladies and gentlemen. She gets scared, she acts weird. No, she acts weird regardless. Let me get the rest of this bread toasted up and uh, we'll be right back with you. Ladies and gentlemen, so I, like I said earlier, I just found out my 13 year old daughter had a little boyfriend. What's his name? Kevin. Kevin what? Simmons. Yeah. Kevin Simmons. Next weekend we will be doing another YouTube video. So like and subscribe. And I would like to have you over for dinner. Not as dinner, but for dinner. Alright. So this is my daughter right here. I don't know what she's got going on up there, but it's it's gonna look she's interesting after hair. a little while. She's hiding her face right now because she don't she said, Daddy, I need to wash my hair. And I said, get over here right now. But anyway, this is my youngest daughter. Y'all y'all have already met my wife. My grandma. Hey, how about turn the channel or turn the Turn it over there, and, it, and that's my grandmama right there with, with Mrs. Swamp Cracker feeding her right now. And like I said, we've got we got a house full of family right now. Sunday's usually our family day. They turn that back around here. But let's show them what we got going on. <laughs> so we got, gentlemen, like I said, we, we just finishing up right here. I've got some shrimpies from yesterday. We have to. We have to cook those because, I mean, everybody likes shrimpies. I don't know what they're going to do with them. They're going to put them on the side. We got chips, too. But anyway, like and subscribe. Next week, I plan on coming back with Kevin Simmons. Hopefully, we'll come over and meet Linda's daddy, the Swamp Cracker. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a fun one. Thank you, all and I appreciate it.